divided into four? I have one. Now, kids, please watch this. He said this is true, right? What if I said something different? And I said four divided by two. You don't need to write this down. Four divided by two equals two. How many people would agree with that? Okay. Now, I'm going to change the question just a little bit. What is half of four? Raise your hand. Half of four. In very loudly. A little bit louder. Two. Right? Now, in math, of means to multiply. Everybody say, of means to multiply. Of means to multiply. Okay. So now, I'm going to write of half of, and this is another sign for multiplication, 4 equals 2. You agree with me so far? Follow me. Okay. Now, look at this right here. I'm multiplying. Can I use the commutative property and simply switch the order of 1 half into 4? Can I say 4 times 1 half? Right, Jacob? And is that still equal to? Sure. Now, kidsters, watch something. I'm boxing this. And I'm going to box dividing by two. Okay. How do you make two as a fraction? If the number doesn't have a denominator, what do you put it over automatically to make it a fraction? Deshaun, you put it over 1. I'm going to put it over 1. Everybody sees that? So I have 2 over 1. I'm going to turn your whole world upside down right now. Here we go. When you actually divide, you're multiplying by that turned upside down world. What is 2 over 1 as a fraction? 2 over 1, right? However, if you change the numerator and denominator's position, what now is the new numerator? 1. one. And what now is the new denominator? 2. When you multiply, when you divide actually, you actually multiply by what we call in math the reciprocal. Everybody say the reciprocal. The reciprocal. One more time with your hands. The reciprocal. The reciprocal. Yes. And what that means is this. You first have to see the number as a what? Fraction. If you don't see it as a fraction, make it into one. Okay? Somebody look here. Tell me what 9 is as a fraction. What's 9 as a fraction? Genesis. 9 over 1. Make the take the reciprocal of 9 over 1. Ashley. 1 over 9. And if you do that, if you multiply a number by a reciprocal, you will always get 1. Because look at this. 9 times 1 is what? 9. And 1 times 9 is what? 9. What's 9 over 9? You will always get 1. Any time that you want to get back to 1, you multiply a number by its reciprocal. Everybody say, Reciprocal. Reciprocal. Because in math, we know how to get to zero, right? Yeah. We always add a number to its opposite. In multiplication, we multiply a number by its reciprocal to get back to... To get back to... How many people have ever heard a song by Brian McKnight called Back to One? How many people have heard? For those of you who haven't heard it or might know it by hearing a song, let me demonstrate for you. One, you're like a dream come true. Two, just want to be with you. Three, 
Girl, it's plain to see that you're the only one for me And folks, repeat steps one through three, five Make you fall in love with me If ever I believe my work is done Then I'll start back at one There you go And that's how we get back to one all the time in math We multiply a number by its reciprocal So when you divide by a number, you're really multiplying by its reciprocal. Let's write that down. The inverse property of multiplication is when you multiply a number by its what? Reciprocal. Now, how do you spell that? It's R E. C I P R O C A L. And please box that reciprocal. You multiply a number by its reciprocal, you always get back to what? If you need to think of Mr. Almeida singing that song or memorizing the inverse property multiplication, by all means do so. Okay? Inverse property multiplication is when you multiply a number by its. What's that problem? Always get back to. One. So now I'm going to put you to the test. What do I have to multiply six by to get back to one? If the number isn't a fraction, make it one first, and then flip the new and out. Right? Put a one underneath six, and then you flip it, one six. Make sure you sit up. Right. To give you another one, this is now a fraction. I have three fourths. What do I have to multiply it by to get back to one all the time? Three-fourths times Karen. Four over three. Good job, guys. Always work. All the time, okay? All the time. Inverse property is the same thing as doing what? Dividing, right? But when you divide, you really do what? Multiply by the reciprocal. If the number is not in the fraction, what do you do? Put it over and then flip it. It'll always get back to, right? Kipsters, that was like a brain exercise. 